Hi, uh, welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, this is our completed project in Bangalore, uh, 33 by 33 size, uh, with the roofing with the puff panel, steel structure, and three inch billa aerocon walls. So you can see this is the foundation work is completed, and the columns we have prepared four by four uh, box pipe columns we have prepared with the base plates and top plates. So once the foundation uh, plates and foundation work is done, so this is how we will place the columns. We do the welding at the uh, plate and the uh, column like this and uh, then we will go for the uh, structure uh, preparation with the other uh, trusses and all. So here what we have done is uh, the roofing client uh, opted for was the puff panel. So we have used the truss method system here with the 4 inch to 6 inch slope in the front. So this is the 4 by 4 column and on the column we have applied one special material called as the uh, meta seal which is the anti corrosive material. So instead of red oxide we can use this so it will prevent the corrosion and this is the time lapse of the uh, columns what we have uh, placed uh, for the structure for every uh, 10 to 10 and a half feet we have placed these columns uh, uniformly uh, and once the columns placing is done so simultaneously we have prepared the trusses and now you can see the truss installation will happen so these are the trusses we have used the 2 by 4 pipe and 2 by 2 pipe uh, 2 by 4 pipe of 38 kgs and 2 by 2 pipe of uh, 14 to 16 kgs weight so so this this is the truss preparation is going on welding and all so truss will be installed like this though it has to be done uh, uh, through the hydro or something so our workers manage to do it uh, on manual only it is very risky to do like this but still uh, this is not advisable but uh, they've gone ahead and have done and they're nothing uh, safety measures we taken so we have warned them next time not to do like this so with the proper um, safety this thing will do uh, next time and they will be reluctant to use the safety materials because they, are, they will not be comfortable to do uh, the work with that material so anyhow we have uh, instructed them not to do like that so this is not advisable but still uh, it happened so that's why we are showing this one so this truss placing is done here uh, one to four trusses were there and uh, this is a single uh, bedroom hall and uh, one typical requirement of the client was we have left open the roof uh, we'll show you in the coming uh, these things is the time lapse of the truss uh, placing on the uh, base play, top plates of these four by four columns so uh, once the truss thing was done then in the, see you can see now the trusses is done one two three three trusses were placed um, and once the truss work is done we'll show you the purlin uh, how the purlins were made with for every two uh, two two feet we have uh, made the purlins that the holes of the uh, what you can see is called as the hole party that is for the you know panel uh, nut bolt system uh, so that will keep it in that we'll put the uh, nut bolt for the panels so this is how the uh, two by four pipe we are placing it uh, in between so uh, we are using the two by four pipes uh, as we are using the 50 mm alpha company puff panels and uh, this is how uh, the purlins system is going on uh, for every four feet here we it is not mandatory to keep uh, two feet or four feet unlike our uh, aerocon slab so that's why we are using the puff panel here and uh, you can see this the one which you are seeing is the uh, two by two pipe it's a support which we are providing for the wall installation aerocon wall installation so there is a partition in between uh, the room so for that purpose we are providing this additional runner support so that the panel installation can happen and now you can see this is the typical requirement of the client where the, uh, they wanted some 6 by 6 or 7 by 7 I don't remember the uh, exact uh, this thing so they wanted that area to be open uh, they are like so for that purpose we are preparing this frame uh, of that uh, area which we have to keep it open and that area will be the open to see sunlight so this is how we are preparing and now, you, now we will go and 
uh, we will install that uh, separate area uh, like this this is the part which client wanted to open to sunlight uh, so we have uh, made this frame to look like this with the 2 inch pipes and 1 inch pipe and this is the final look of the uh, the one which we need to uh, keep to the sunlight and you can see the completed uh, structure uh, total view uh, this final structure view which is completed uh, for this puff panel uh, this thing so uh, we we are using this 3 inch Birla Aerocon wall panels this is how uh, the wall panel is carried and we beneath that we have placed the 0.mm mm floor channel and uh, on the top it will be fitting with the uh, nut bolt system like this so for a 3 inch wall panel we need 5 to 6 uh, workers to install this thing and uh, external and internal walls we have used all the 3 inch wall panels only we have used so we have not used the 2 inch wall panels anywhere here and uh, the coming uh, you can see the time lapse of the uh, this is how the drill will make it and uh, the nut bolt system will make this nut tight and once that is done so we'll keep simultaneous wall panels and the wall panels will be uh, tongue and groove technology so they both get interlocked so three systems uh, will be uh, the there this is the time lapse of the wall panel installation for the outer area 33 by size so since the two feet uh, width and the three meters height panel is there and you can see there is the slope uh, the top uh, behind one the slope will be of the three meter uh, 10 11 feet we have put and the front one we have put 10 feet so one feet 9 to 10 inches slope is there this is the other part of the uh, wall and this is again the time lapse of the uh, wall panels which we have been uh, installed so all the material which we have used is the Bella Aerocon only and uh, two feet two feet every two feet we have installed the uh, panels and this is the outer wall uh, time lapse of the total uh, wall panels for the structure so uh, total we have used around 2000 square feet of the wall panels we have used one and a half ton around one and a half ton to 1.75 ton steel we have used uh, then 128 square meter uh, puff panel we have used uh, for puff panel around 2 lakhs it costed steel with the labor it costed 2 lakhs and wall panels it costed uh, 140 rupees per square feet so which amounted around 2 uh, 2 lakh 80 thousand rupees total is the structure was completed within the 6 lakhs budget and uh, this is the uh, outer view of the uh, panels and now you can see this is the puff panel so we have used the 50 mm off white color puff panel we have used and we were not present on site so uh, you can see this um, uh, we have recorded this through mobile so this might not be comfortable to see in a vertical this thing so final uh, view of this uh, the, that part is the this is the final part of the uh, structure you can see here puff panel uh, 3 inch villa aerocon walls and the steel structure so we have limited our scope up to here only uh, because of various complications uh, 